Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a historic haunting video. I haven't done one of these in a couple weeks, so I figured I'd jump in and do one. This is about the Pirate's House. Located a block from the Savannah River in the most historic section of Savannah, Georgia, this place is a landmark. Uh, it's in different... It's it, it has had several different buildings over the years, but originally it was built in 1754 by seamen, uh, sailors, in the settlement of Savannah, which was first founded in 1733. They founded Savannah in 1733, and this house was built in 1754. From its beginning, the pirate's house was a dangerous place, full of pirates, scallywags, and other shady types. This was a favorite spot for grog and rum for seamen from all over the world. Sailors visited from everywhere. This was a, one of the more famous pubs in the world. The most famous pirate to visit the pub was Jean-Pierre Lafitte, who married a woman from this area, from Savannah, the, that area. <clears throat> the pirate house has gone through, as I said, several buildings over the years, but its current incarnation has been there for centuries. Uh, in the pirate's house rum cellar, there was a tunnel connecting the building to the Savannah River. A sailor, either drunk or drugged, could pass out in the pub and wake up the next day on an unfamiliar ship at sea. Being Shanghai wasn't limited to Asian ports or San Francisco. Press gangs were infamous in the area. And if you don't know what a press gang is, they get a group of big tough guys together and they go out looking for, quote unquote, volunteers for sea duty. They A ship had to have so much crew or it wasn't, it, was, it couldn't operate. And when you couldn't get volunteers, you made volunteers. With, that's what press gangs were for. So, um... With over 250 years of history rife with pirates and other criminals and their activity, it's no wonder ghostly activity is prominent here. Lots of violence happened here, lots of uh, robberies and, and fights. Sorry, a doggy emergency. Uh, anyway, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of violence here, a lot of robberies, a lot of fights. As I said, the press gangs were out looking for volunteers and... Most of the volunteers, when you were talking about a press gang, most of the volunteers weren't, they didn't go willingly, we'll just put it like that. So there was lots of uh, fighting going on. A guest, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, ghostly activity happens in this place. A guest was holding a drink glass, which was suddenly, suddenly and inexplicably filled with Spanish moss. A young couple asked if the ghosts were real, and in response, a stack of drink glasses in a pyramid formation exploded right in front of them. And we're not talking where they, they fell down. We're talking they exploded with shards of glass going everywhere. People hear odd noises, you know, footsteps banging on the walls and doors, disembodied voices, all kinds of stuff like that. Very, very prevalent there. The owner and another man were spending the night and the other man was a prominent skeptic this guy did not believe in ghosts he thought it was all hogwash uh well-known skeptic the this man and the owner both witnessed a full shot glass of rum disappear right in front of them as in it's there and then suddenly it just fades away and disappears right in front of them Multiple witnesses at different times have seen a big burly man in period clothes, like a, like a sailor, uh, sitting at a table. These witnesses span multiple generations, because many people come to the come to this pub, and you know my great grandmother saw this, 
my grandmother saw this, my mother saw this, I know I've seen it. That kind of thing. This big burly man has been seen by many people over multiple generations sitting at a table. When this man looks at the witness, whoever the witness is, that witness is invariably suddenly fear-stricken. That has been reported every single time that he, that he looked. That, you know, they'll say, people have said, well, I saw him, but he didn't look at me. Whenever, he, whenever they see him and he looks at them, suddenly they're just racked with fear for whatever reason. This guy induces fear in people. Computers have gone haywire and crashed and on one occasion spewed, quote, hate and, quote, die. Those two words, hate and die. Whatever's in there is not happy. That's all I'm saying. Not, it's not a happy, a happy person that was there. The most prevalent and long-running ghost seen in the building is that of the pirate Flint. Flint, <laughs> evidently, died in one of the rooms as he yelled for more rum. His cries for rum have been heard by many. As the story goes, if you buy him a rum, your stay will be much more amicable. He'll be a little nicer to you. <clears throat> now, Robert Louis Stevenson wrote the, the, the book Treasure Island. It's a classic. If you've not read it, you need to. There's movies put out about it, and, and they're good, but you cannot, you cannot surpass reading the original book. The book is excellent. Robert Louis Stevenson based the characters in that book on real-life people. Evidently, Flint was one of them. If you ever find yourself in Savannah, Georgia, and have some time to kill, <laughs> don't pass up the opportunity to visit the Pirate's House. You will not regret it. The, the lore, the, the history, the fun, and in some cases the terror is palpable. We'll leave it at that. Hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all. Clarissa Lowe, a historian from the future. Delmore Kane, a Civil War veteran turned outlaw. This oddball pairing faces a conspiracy of epic proportions spanning the centuries. If you like action and adventure westerns with a splash of science fiction and fantasy, check out my book series Drifters and their ongoing adventures.